of the other things that you can do locally to your website itself to rank high on search engines? Well, um, if you're talking specifically on your own website, um, there is, you know, search engine optimization. And, you know, search engine optimization breaks down into several different factors. Uh, one is on-page optimization, then the other one is off-page optimization. Obviously, on-page is everything that you do on your own website, whereas off-page is the stuff that you do outside of your website to drive traffic to your website and get high search engine rankings, you know? Yes. So I'll give you an example for on-page optimization. We're talking about, let's see, you put in your keyword phrase in your web page title, which is very important. Not, not a lot of people are doing that. And they should because a lot of search engines are still valuing your web page title. It's very important for when people search. Okay. So you want to put your keyword in a web page title. Okay. And an example for an off-page optimization is uh, backlinks. You know, you want uh, one of the uh, ranking factors that search engines use is the links that are coming into your site because that shows search engines how authoritative of a website you are. Okay. You know, the more links you have coming to your website, you obviously you have a more authority. But, you know, not only these links have to be, there's got to be a lot of them, you need to have those links to be relevant and be relevant to your industry. You can't have, like, you know, spammy links coming back because search engines are smart enough to figure out what's a good link, what's not is a good link. So if you have a bad link, like spammy link, they'll actually start penalizing you. Wow. So that's, an, you know, uh, you want to try getting links. You know, for instance, uh, since we're in real estate, mm -hmm. we want to get links from real estate websites, uh, real estate blogs. Uh, that's why if you've been reading my blog, you've noticed that I keep talking about leaving comments on other real estate websites. Yes, and I'm always trying to do that. Yeah, and I specifically on my website, I've, on my blog, I've installed a, um, it's a plugin that allows people who leave comments on my blog to follow their link to their blog. It's called, the plugin is called something like do follow plugin. Okay. And what happens is when search engines hit that comment on my blog, they'll be able to follow that link back to your website. Okay. Whereas a lot of other blogs, they have no follow links on their website, mm -hmm. and the search engine will see your link, but you're not going to get a credit for your search engine optimization because of that uh, do no follow. You know? and, a lot, and the websites are doing that because of the spam. There's a lot of spammers out there that are just automated, you know, uh, spam programs on there, and they'll start posting comments on your blog, which there's other plugins that you can use to prevent that as well. So uh, so that's what you can do in regards to optimization. Obviously, keyword research is extremely important, and a lot of people skip that one part, you know. How are you going to find people that you want to show up at your website if you don't do the proper keyword research? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I you want to know... You want to get into your prospect's mind. You want to get into their, you know, find out what they're thinking. What do they look for? You know, you want to almost like get in their shoes and let's say somebody's in foreclosure mm -hmm. and they're desperate to get rid of their house and, you know, they're going to web, you know, and neighbors or in their house or whatever. And what are they thinking? What are they searching when they go to Google? What are they searching, searching for? You need to get into their head and think, like they do, because if you can't do that, you're golden. You're set because you basically know how to get these people back to your site because you know what they're searching for and you can basically provide it to them. Definitely. Yeah, so basically what you're saying is uh, we need to research keywords so that uh, we kind of have an idea of the conversation that the, the, the person is, they have in their mind when they go to this web you know, search engines and if we can mirror conversation they have in their mind and have them go to places on our websites that directly speak to what they're talking about, then it's kind of, a, I don't know, a value of to them because now you're giving them straight attention to their needs or their problem because your site that you have where they come to your landing page, for instance, is directly speaking to what they were searching, right? Exactly, yeah. And you, you need to make sure that, you know, there's ways of, let's say you uh, are targeting that, you know, 
sell my house and mail it. You're targeting that particular keyword phrase. Yes. So you, when you uh, put that keyword into, let's say, your uh, AdWords campaign, you want to make sure that when people click on that ad and they arrive on that website, it will answer them their problem on that particular web page. You know, it will tell them how they can sell their house and mail it because that's what they were looking for. Because if that's, you know, this is, if your keyword is going to direct them to your homepage and your homepage is just a general, you know, think about your company, they'll probably leave within seconds. Yes. You follow me? You yes. need to be able to give them that problem right away because attention span on the internet is like, you know, we're talking about seconds. Yes. If their website loads too slow or they're not there, what they're looking for, they're going to leave. Okay, that's some very, very good content. We barely even started the call and you've already been giving so much detail. So what people will be thinking now is like, okay, this is all good, but like how do we get started? And that brings us to the second question. What are the first steps to take to market our uh, real estate business online? Well, that's a very good question. And let me, um, the answer I kind of surprise you because, you know, uh, a lot of people tell you, okay, you need to go and you know, get a squeeze page. Well, that's all good, you know, that's all good. You need to create a website, you know, a branding website. That's all good. You need that eventually. But what you need to start with when you are starting on a, online, you need to have the right mindset. You need to have a mindset of the people that are searching for, the target market that you're searching for, and the mindset of being on the Internet. Because doing marketing offline is a little bit different than doing marketing on the internet. The mindset is a little bit different. Follow me? So you need to make sure that you have the right mindset mindset because if you don't, you're not going to be able to stick with it. You need to be passionate about that, you know, uh, that particular area to be able to go and do this and actually get these people. Another thing you need to know, you need to, as I mentioned before, you need to know your customers. This might seem a little bit obvious to many people, but... A lot of people skip this question. Um, here's a little short exercise that you can do. You put yourself in a person's shoes. Let's say you're targeting an out-of-state owner. Uh, yes. Ask yourself questions. You know, what do they want? What are they searching for on the internet? What do they look, need? What do they look like? What do they need? Will they, you know, be as specific as you can, you know, create a picture in your head of that prospect. And if you can do that, you'll be able to get these people, you know, to come to your site because you'll be able to know exactly what they want. That's what marketing is all about. You need to figure out exactly what your target market wants and then give it to them because they're hungry for the information. They're, they're hungry for what they want. Um, another thing you need to do is do some research, like I said. You